हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सेशन ऑन क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग यूनिट नंबर फाइव एडवांस कंसेप्ट्स डॉक्टर कंटेनर एंड कुबरनेटीज लेसन नंबर सिक्स कुबरनेटीज outline for this session will be we will be talking about application architectures monolithic and microservice we will focus on microservice advantages and disadvantages container orchestration like node pod service and kubernetes application architecture let's discuss about monolithic architecture monolithic architecture is the one giant organ for example if you look at the diagram everything is contained inside a box right from the user interface business logic data access layer to the database everything will act as in a single layer in the monolithic architecture it is easy to develop deploy test and debug as you are dealing with only one layer of a application or one level of a service developing a business logic for a uh, monolithic architecture will be a easy job as you will be easily test it debug it whenever you want data access layer will interact with the business logic and get the job done from the database but if you look at this diagram we know that as we go on the number of modules number of the features that does, that are supported by the application the size of this box will grow and as it is true for everything anything which go beyond the size after certain expansions maintaining it will be difficult let's look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of monolithic architecture so easy to develop easy to deploy easy to test and debug no no communication latency as the entire application will work as in a single service or single organ there will be no communication latency inside the monolithic architecture key disadvantage uh, when it uh, becomes really large of course it will be large if you keep on adding the features and business logic to it it will not be maintainable knowledge transfer is difficult let's say you want to train new people to work on your uh, monolithic architecture based software to maintain it to add new features on it the new developer will not be comfortable with your application unless and until he understands each and every part of your application he will not be comfortable with uh, be comfortable with, uh, comfortable with your application if he just understand one part of the application he will hesitate in working on that particular part or modifying that particular part because he will be worried about what will be the larger implication of such a uh, modification of course it is difficult to scale beyond certain point if you will if you are willing to add any new features it will be very difficult as you will be dealing with the single application we are having lot of internal uh, uh, modules working together as in a tightly coupled entity considering this many applications are developed using microservice based architecture so what is a microservice architecture microservice architecture will be having basically lot of microservices so here user interface is a completely independent layer database is a completely independent layer and we have lot of microservices each of this microservice will be targeting one business logic one particular business logic so what is a microservice a microservice will be kind of a node which have lot of containers inside it now we know what are what is a container we have discussed it during the docker sessions so a microservice will have lot of nodes multiple nodes inside it each node will have multiple or maybe single container inside it and we know that the containers have uh, different applications or different libraries required by particular application to run now microservice will be interacting with multiple nodes to provide a particular service so what is the benefit of this as each box is completely independent developing a single microservice will not have any effect on developing deploying maintaining integrating any other microservice so as this is completely loosely coupled mm. developing one microservice or interact uh, working on one one microservice will not have any effect on development and deployment of a second microservice so we can have multiple teams 
independently working on each microservice and finally we will be able to integrate them inside a application uh, environment so finally user interface will be interacting with the microservices microservices will be interacting with the databases to get the actual job done the broader picture will look like this if we look into the details of what a microservice will be it will be a called as a kubelet in terms of kubernetes inside this microservice there will be nodes inside the nodes there will be containers so this big square boxes will represent nodes inside the nodes there are small squares who are representing containers we know what are the containers together these nodes and uh, containers we will call them as a service which will be one business logic of the application what are the key advantages of this approach let's look at so each microservice focuses on a small business requirement so development and deployment can be done independently each microservice can use all together different technologies and languages easy to deploy easy to integrate easy to modify easy to maintain error exceptions occurred in one service will not affect other microservice obviously as each microservice is independent if anything goes wrong inside a microservice only that section or that particular service or that particular business logic will have a trouble in the application it will not affect a, uh, the entire ecosystem of the application so these are the key advantages of microservice architecture what are the disadvantages you look at the diagram there are multiple right now we have considered only five boxes of microservices in reality there might be many more microservices box and each box is again going to have uh, nodes inside it each node is going to have multiple containers inside it in in general maintaining this all will be a cumbers cumbersome job so it is impossible to maintain a application which is designed using a microservice architecture without a proper coordination there will be a network latency now you will be able to understand what is a network latency as this microservices will be interacting with each other while providing a service there will be a communication delay in the microservices as one microservice will be let's say user is calling a um, some service inside a microservice uh, microservice one and this service is internally depend on the microservice two so this microservice one will generate a request to microservice two this microservice two may be may need to communicate with the database to get job done and then the result will come back to microservice 2 and in turn to microservice 1 and the response will be generated so there will be a network communication delay there will be a network latency communication latency in the case of microservice based architecture of course complex networking uh, a single microservice have lot of nodes inside it we will talk about them in detail when we will start with kubernetes a changing ui is harder of course let's say you updated a user interface at this layer which will ultimately need integration into the level 1 obviously it will reflect into the how you are dealing with the database let's assume that uh, this user interface updation takes triggers a call to the microservice let's say this is microservice 3 triggers a service call to the microservice 3 again you have to go and update the user interface ui apis in the microservice 3 ultimately it means that if we are updating any gui or a user interface or any api used by any of the microservices which is internally called by many other uh, microservices there will be a lot of uh, cascading effect of updating or necessary updates need to be done in the microservice architecture so that's another disadvantage so what is the solution to this 
container orchestration is the solution. I hope you got the microservice architecture and monolithic architecture. In the next video, we will talk about container orchestration and Kubernetes. Thank you.